it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a chore chart in Excel. So I'm going to focus on making a chore chart if you have kids, but if you don't, you can always just make a chore chart for yourself or turn it into a habit tracker, um, etc. So first things first, I'm going to type the days of the week. Now I'm not going to put the full name because it gets quite long. I'm just going to do three letters. You could change to just one letter. So just MT up to you, however you like. I just like to abbreviate it because otherwise it gets too long. So I've got my days of the week. Now I like to have uh, like headings and titles centered. I don't know, I, I just prefer that format. So if you wanna do that, hover your mouse over the top here where all the letters are and you see that drop down arrow. If you left click and drag across so that you highlight all of these columns and then hit the center align, it'll do it for you all at once. And anything else that is in these columns further down will also be center aligned. See, it'll go automatically to the center. If you didn't want the whole column to be uh, center aligned, just select that text up the top and then change it that way. So my columns um, are not too bad for the width of my text. However, it's only font size 11. So I would, if I was gonna make a chore chart and if I had kids, I would be making it big enough to print out and put on the fridge. So I'm gonna increase the text size. You can increase the size of the entire um, template if you click that little triangle up there and do it all at once. Or if you just want to change specific text, so let's say only these ones, just left click and drag to highlight and then you can increase the text that way. So I'm going to make it quite big because remember you want to see it from a distance or if you've got kids you want the text to be pretty big. So I'm just going to expand those out. So same thing, left click and drag and then if you click this one here where the two arrows are, you can expand the columns out to make it bigger. So I've got my days of the week where we can put a little sticker or a little cross or a tick when that chore has been done. Now I need to add the actual chores. So I'm gonna put that in the first column here, which is obviously way too narrow in proportion to the rest. So up the top here, we got those two arrows, left click and drag to expand it out. Um, I'm just gonna guess that looks pretty wide to me. And I'm gonna type chores. And down the, the side here is where you can list all your chores out. So let's say it was um, make the bed. Uh, empty the dishwasher, you get the idea. You don't have to do it all in caps, you can change it um, if you wanted to, like take out the rubbish, you get the idea. List all your chores down the side here. Now up the top, I'm gonna put um, the kids' names. Let's had, say you had multiple kids and they had different chores that were allocated to each child. You can make this template and then change the, the child's name up the top up to you. So let's just say I had a kid called Ben and this is Ben's chores. I like to have like a banner up the top here. So we're getting to the printing it part, by the way. I've done like a template, now we're gonna make it look um, pretty. So left click up the top here, you've got that first cell selected, and I'm gonna drag it all the way across to the very end, and then choose merge and center. You can have it um, aligned to the left if you want, but I like it centered. And I'm gonna make that bigger than all of the other text because it's like my title. I usually make the titles the biggest. Let's make it font size 30. Now in terms of printing it up, I like to add a color background. So if you click the little drop down arrow behind, behind this paint bucket, beside it, um, you can pick whatever color that you like. So let's go with um, blue. Now I don't know what it is, but I just prefer to have a colored background with white text. It just stands out a lot more than a black font in my opinion. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one down here, only I'm gonna use a different color. So blue, let's pair it with um, that looks all right. And again, white font. The other thing that I like to do is make all of my text bold. So again, if you click that triangle, you can hit bold and it'll do it for the entire sheet. If you only had selected text, just left click and drag to highlight it and then choose whatever font style you like. So um, I'm gonna increase the font size of that so it's all the same. So all of that can be font size 24. Now I'm gonna add a border so we can see actual boxes to create tick in because at the moment and the default view in Excel is to show all these gray lines. However, that's just to help you when you're designing. That's not actually gonna show when you print. So if you go to view and you untick grid lines, this is what you're actually gonna get when you print. So just make sure you have that ticked when you're designing, but keep in mind, this is not gonna print. So we need to add the borders. So if you go back to home, and then this menu here is where most of the stuff is that you will use when you're making printables. So the border function here, I'm going to left click and drag. Now I don't know how many chores your child has. You can make it as long or as short as you like. Um, I'm gonna assume you've got about five or six. What's that about? Eight, you get the idea. 
and then I'm going to add a border to everything. So you have a couple of options for your border. You can choose a solid line, you can have a thin solid line, dash, dotted, etc. I'm just going to go with a solid line about medium thickness. So you could go thin, medium, or really thick. Let's go medium. And for the color, I'm going to choose the same blue that I used for my title box up here. You can make it black or whatever color that you want. Gray is another good option because gray tends to go with everything. Um, but anyway, I'll leave that up to you. So I've got my selections chosen. Now I'm going to just hit escape to exit out of that. Now I've got all my cells selected that I want the border around. I can just click that button and it will add it for me. So I've got that thickness that I chose and it's all in blue. If you wanted to change it, you could just go, let's say I want it to be black and then left click and drag everything and then hit the border bu um, button again up the top here and it'll all go to black. So you can mess around with that and experiment with the colors as often as you want. Uh, one last thing with uh, chore charts, I don't know how you want to track it, but let's say you had a sticker, you had some color dot stickers your child wants to put there when they've done that task, they're probably going to be a bit bigger than this, which is quite um, small for the row height. So if you left click and drag down to select all of those, you can then, same deal like we did with when we were expanding the um, columns up the top here, wait until you see the two arrows and then left click and drag and you can increase the size. So that's a lot better now. Um, we've got plenty of room if we want to put a sticker in there, you could tick it off, you could cross it off, you could just write done or whatever you want to do to track it, there's plenty of room to do that now. Um, up to you with personal preference, but I like to have text in the middle. So if we do the same thing, highlight all those cells again and click this button here and it will move it into the middle so we've got an even space up the top and then the bottom. You could center it if you wanted to, you could right align it, totally up to you. Um, you can also increase the font size if you think that's too small, um, again up to personal preference. The other thing you might choose to add is a total column down the bottom, uh, sorry a total row. So if we type total, I'm going to align that to the right and then down the bottom here you can tally it all up. So maybe make the bed is worth 50 cents and that's all they did that day, the total would be 50 cents. Um, up to you and then you could just total them up and that's how much they get um, for the end of the week. The other option that you can do is add either a list down the bottom here with the value that each chore is worth or include it over the side here. So I just double left click to go back into that cell. If you just click on it and then you start typing, it's going to override your text. So you don't want to do that. You want to double left click and that will give you the option to edit the text that you've already typed. So let's say make the bed is worth 50 cents. You can type that in there and then you might just put like a Y when it's done um, up to you. Remember if you want to center a line, just left click and drag to highlight all that text or wherever you want to make it center aligned and press that button. So you could add it up the top here or you could do it down the bottom. So you could do um, a list of chores. So make the bed and it's worth 50 cents. Um, next one, empty the dishwasher. Maybe that's worth $1, up to you. If you want to um, pretty it up a bit, you can do the same sort of style with a banner. So left click and drag and then go merge and center. We chose blue and then it was white. You might want to increase the text size and then you might want to add borders around this. I'll leave that up to you to decide. So the last thing you need to do is check the printing format. So go to file, print, now see how that's cut off because it's set to portrait. So for chore um, trackers, I recommend doing landscape page orientation and we can see that that's nice and big. However, it's cutting off this section down the bottom that I added. So that's currently set to no scaling. If you choose fit sheet on one page, it'll automatically proportionally reduce everything to fit it all on the page. And I can see that when I do that, I've got a bit of excess space on the sides here, that's probably not an issue if you're going to print this out and hole punch it and add it to a binder, you might prefer a wider margin. But if you're going to print it and laminate it and put it on your fridge, you're probably going to want it even so you can go back and just expand out the columns, um, tweak it to whatever you want with the margins. You might choose to have a wide margin, whatever you want to do. When you um, print it out, your printer will usually add a white border by default. So it may add a bit more again on the edge, just up to your printer and whatever preferences um, it's set to. As you can see I use a Canon printer. 
Um, so if you did need to edit it, you can just expand out the columns a bit, file, print again, and see how we've got a less uh, margin on the right here. So that is how you make a um, chore chart. If you want more tutorials on making printables in Excel, I will have the link below to my e-course if you're interested.